Ed here. Welcome to another edition of Ed Talks. I have my friend, Jeremy Harper. Jeremy, welcome to Ed Talks. Hey, how are you today? Jeremy, tell me a little bit about yourself, because I know you used to work on the health system side, and now you're kind of doing something independent. Tell us what's going on. So I'm an independent consultant these days. Uh, I come and help people understand how to implement things like large language models. I help them uh, with advisory services. I used to be a chief research information officer for a large academic medical center. Uh, what, four years ago, I uh, went off on my own and uh, have been doing a lot of different things since then. Yeah, you, you've got all this credibility, an amazing foundation with, you know, like myself, where we're working on the provider side, and then you took that big risk, the American dream, and you're, you're killing it. And I really encourage everyone listening to follow you on LinkedIn, because you put out a lot of great content, and you make the whole concept of AI, data, LLMs, um, you know, you, you simplify it and make it super understandable, which led, I think, in part, to uh, your book that came out in September 25. Tell us about your book and show us your book. So I worked with Rutledge and did large language models for healthcare. So this book isn't about AI hype. It's a field guide for safety decisions, saner workflows. How are you in a, an IT setting at a me your medical provider going to go evaluate your large language models and get it out there safely and securely. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. It's a great guide because yeah, right now it's sort of like the wild, wild west. And there's a lot of pressure. And I know this from a, as a board member of some hospitals where there's a lot of pressure on the hospital. Hey, what are you doing with data, big data, LLM, all that kind of stuff leading to AI and, you know, get going. And so a lot of uh, even chief data officers and others, they're like, man, I, I just want to do this right. I don't want to get myself into a, a bad situation. So they can grab your book. And it's really like a field guide. It's intended to be a field guide. I, you know, I, I firmly believe that healthcare doesn't need flashier algorithms. It needs quieter workflows. Large language models need to be there to assist with documentation, lower our clicks. But at the same time, safety is paramount and large language models hallucinate. So if we don't have a plan, we're going to have problems. Yeah. Yeah, it makes total sense to have a guide like that. I know when I was sort of trying to pioneer different things with my teams back in the day, when there was no guides, you know, we just kind of wandered and had to learn the hard way in many instances. But with your guide, with your book, it can really help people like get it right the first time and at least point them in the right direction. What, who, el who else would be the right buyer, Jeremy? Who should be buying this book? So the people who are going to dive into the weeds and be in charge of teams are the people who are going to be actually doing the implementations. And for high-level clinicians who are administrators, it's a wonderful guide for everything that you need to know about large language models in one concise way, built into the healthcare, talked about through a healthcare lens. You know, we have a lot of people who are talking about large language models that aren't necessarily deep into the healthcare side of things. I started with large language models before it was a large language model. I built a business for a large language model in 2020. That didn't go anywhere. You know, ChatGPT came in and completely blew the small scale operators out of the water. But at the end of the day, large language models aren't magic. Uh, they're understandable. And our goal is to hire for outcomes, not just titles and craft the right prompts. And there are lots of examples in this book over the prompt that you will use in specific settings. And at the end of the day, we have a lot of people saying prompts won't matter in the future. And prompts are always going to matter when you want it to be a business operation. Yeah. And that's our goal in healthcare. These are business operations. These aren't someone trying to enhance their job. Yeah, no, that, that's very well stated. Jeremy, how does someone find your book and make a purchase? Well, the, that's the great thing with Rutledge. They've got it on Amazon and everywhere else. Uh, you can go to my website, owlhealthworks.com, and I've got it linked there. And you'll be buying directly from me. You'll get that signed copy. And basically, it's available everywhere. Yeah. And uh, if anyone's interested in talking about it, I have a passion for large language models. Thanks for remembering my little articles on LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, I do try and like break things down so that people can understand. Oh, yeah, I, I think it's uh, all material for, for yet another book and another uh, field guide. So I love it. We'll put all that information in the show notes. Jeremy, thank you so much for being a guest on Ed Talks. Thank you.